In this video, we're going to have a look at how to find the arc length of a circle. Now, you all know how to find the circumference of a circle. So before we actually speak about what the arc length is, we'll just do a wee recap of how to find the circumference of a circle. Now, if you imagine a circle with a radius of 6 centimetres, okay? We imagine a circle with a radius of six centimeters. You all know that to find the circumference of a circle, which is its perimeter all the way around, the circumference is pi times diameter. Now, what we have here is a radius. The radius goes from the center to the outer edge. The diameter is double the radius, going from one end of the circle to the other through the center. So if our radius is six, our diameter must be 12. So the circumference can be pi times 12, pi times the diameter, and that gives us a diameter of 37.7. And let's say that our radius was in centimetres, so our, diameter, our circumference is also in centimetres. Okay, that's straightforward enough. Now, what I'd like you to do is to imagine that you are removing a slice from this circle. Okay, so let's imagine that we cut a slice from the circle like so. Okay, so our circle is no more, and what we're looking at is just a slice. Okay, so we look at a slice of the circle, and let's say that the angle here is 30 degrees. Okay, now what we mean by arc length is just the curved edge of a slice or a sector of a circle, so it's a curved edge that we are looking to find the length of, okay? Now, we all know, so if you just remember that the circumference is pi times diameter, if I get rid of that just now, you know that because this slice is part of the circle, it must be a fraction of the circle. And in the same way, the arc length must be a fraction of the circumference, okay? So we just write that down, we'll say the arc length We'll just write AL for short. The arc length is a fraction of the circumference. Now, what is that fraction? Well, you all know that there are 360 degrees in a full circle. So what we're dealing with here is 30 degrees of what used to be a whole circle. So a fraction is just the angle that's at the heart of our sector, 30 and we divide that by 360, because we're dealing with 30 degrees out of the full 360. And you know how to find the circumference, that's just pi times diameter, so we just say pi times 12, you work all that out, and you end up with an answer of 3.14, okay, to two decimal places. And that would be in centimeters, because you're dealing with the length of the arc, okay, and that's all there is to it. The arc length is just a fraction of the circle's circumference. Let's have a look at a few more examples. Let's look at this one here. Okay, now let's say first of all that we are dealing with a circle which, an, a sector which has an angle of 75 degrees here, and we'll say that the radius of that sector is 7 meters. Okay, so we're talking about 7 meters from here to here. Okay. Now again, the arc length is just going to be a fraction of the circumference, okay? Now the fraction this time is going to be 75 degrees out of 360 degrees. And to find the circumference of this circle, we would have had to do pi times diameter, so it would be pi times, not 7, but 14, because it's pi times diameter. We work all that out. And we end up with an answer of 9.2 meters to one decimal place. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Now, let's this time say that our angle down here is 150 degrees. And we'll say that the radius of the circle from which this was taken, we'll say it's 18 millimeters. Okay, so we're talking of 18 millimeters from here to here. Okay, now again, the arc length is just a fraction of the circle's circumference, okay? 
Now, the fraction this time is going to be 150 out of 360. You multiply that by the circumference. How do you find the circumference? Pi times d, our diameter this time is 36, because our radius is 18. And we work that out to one decimal place, and we get a diameter of 47, uh, an arc length of 47.1, and it will be in millimeters this time. Okay? Now, you could be faced with uh, something like this. And let's say that the angle here is 70 degrees. Okay? And let's say that the distance from the circle center to its outer edge was 5 meters. So let's say that that there is 5 meters. Okay? Now, this is the kind of thing that can trick folk. What you are talking about finding is the length of the arc. Now that's this distance all the way around here. So we're not going to do 70 over 360 because 70 over 360 times pi times diameter would find you that distance. What we want to do is we want to find the angle in here. Okay? And if that's 70 there, this must be 290 degrees, okay? So you may well, at times, not be given the angle you want, but you'll always be given enough information to work out what you need to find. So the arc length is a fraction, this time 290 over 360, times the circumference. And the circumference would be pi times diameter. The diameter this time is 10. And we work all that out on the calculator, and to one decimal place we get 25.3 meters. And that's all you have to do. Now, let's have a look and see if you can do three questions yourselves. Okay? So the first of these, let's say that you're talking about a sector which has an angle here of 40 degrees. And let's say that the radius is 3 meters. Okay? There's your first one. Uh, your second one, we'll say, is a, way, a circle which has an angle, a sector which has an angle of 165 degrees here. And we'll say that our radius is 14 meters. And finally, looking at uh, this last one, we'll say the angle here is 50 degrees. And we'll see that this is 8 millimeters from the circle center to its outer edge. Okay? Now, pause the video, work these out yourselves, and see how you get on. Okay, the first one, the arc length, is going to be a fraction of the circumference, 40 this time out of 360, times pi times diameter, your diameter is 6, you work that out, and you get 2.1 meters to one decimal place. Okay? On to the second one, your arc length is just 165 divided by 360 times pi times diameter, your diameter this time, if the radius is 14, the diameter is 28, you work that out, and you find an answer of 40.3 meters, again. Okay? And finally, just like we had before, we're not interested in this angle here of 50 degrees. We are, however, interested in this angle. You know that you have 360 in a full circle, so this must be 310. So to find our arc length, we say it's a fraction of the circumference, so 310 over 360 times pi, times the diameter, which would be 16. Work that out, and you find an answer of 43.3 millimeters to one decimal place. And that's how you find the arc length when you're faced with a sector. You're given the angle, you're given the radius, and as long as you remember that it's a fraction of the circle circumference, the question should not pose any problems.